Hello, Alan Gilbert again with Autodesk. For our sixth video on our AutoCAD Civil 3D Tips and Tricks session from the Fall Florida User Conference of 2015, we're going to take a look at profiles. And a quick way, if you need to profile basically from a feature line, so if you have a 3D feature line or a 3D polyline, and you want to quickly convert and extract a horizontal alignment and a profile, here's a nice little tip that will help you with that. I'm going to show an easy way to build an alignment and profile from a 3D polyline or feature line. So let's pop in a feature line manually here into the drawing. CL. And I'll just start here. I'll grab a surface elevation from existing. Hit enter to accept. Clear and I'll do a SU for surface elevation. And let's go down to 800 this spot. We'll finish here with we'll SU. And we'll just hit enter to take the elevation. Okay, get rid of these two feature lines I don't need. So just to double check it, let's uh, look at the elevation editor and see I have elevations and I've got a, just a feature line. So I could, a lot, a lot of different ways I could do this, but we're just going to show kind of a fast way to extract this into an alignment profile. So if it's a 3D polyline or feature line, I can't really just go up to create alignment from objects because it's not supportive of that type of data. But what I can do is right click on the feature line and do our traditional quick profile. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw existing ground just as a placeholder. And this is where I'm going to draw a 3D profile from that line. And so here you can see the profile drawn from the a feature line and there's the existing ground surface. Now I can still, this is still dynamic even though it's a quick profile as long as I don't I delete this line or erase, but I could actually go and edit the elevations here. And this would of course change. You can see my profile change. So that's still dynamic. And because now this is a profile, I can actually use my profile editor. Now, if I edit this profile, it's not going to reflect back on the uh, feature line because I haven't projected this feature line into the profile. This is just a representation of a 3D profile of that. But if I wanted to make a quick change, I can actually change it. For example, move a PI, PVI rather. So I move that up above 800. And so now when I run a LandX on my export, I can pick this object and it would actually export this profile, not the current status of this feature line, which is nice. So I'm just going to run a quick LandX on my export, deselect everything. And notice that quick profile is not in this list. Okay, so we have no reference to this quick profile. But if I do a pick from drawing, I can select it. It says one found, hit enter. Hit OK. Save that out. And now I can just, for the time being, I can delete that feature line. So let's bring that XML back in, land XML. Insert land XML. OK, you can see I have alignment, profile data. There's the alignment data. Let's get a profile view. There's my profile. And it still has that dummy name. I didn't rename it because I, I really didn't have an option to because it never it was a quick profile. It didn't show up in anything. I'll turn off the data bands and I'll create a profile. Now you can see, remember I moved this profile above 800 so it maintained what I set because I actually exported that profile representation of that the elevation of that feature line. 
So a nice way to get a horizontal alignment and profile from a 3D poly line or feature line.